Producing over 500 hours per week of talk radio, GCN Live is a world leader in talk radio. Archives for the following program can be found at GCNlive.com. What is up, friends? Good morning and greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben. Nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable. And you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 28 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system, the human body, is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is always designed divinely to heal and renew itself. On a moment-to-moment -moment basis, it's a healing system, folks. And while it may seem like a miracle, it really is no miracle at all. It is simply the way the body works. If you're dealing with any kind of health challenge, if you want to get off your prescription drugs and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side, 855-660-4261 is our number. If you have a loved one who's on medications and you want to help them get off of their drugs or a loved one or yourself or a friend or a family member who's not feeling as well as they might, we can help you, 855-660-4261 is our number. If you want to join the Brightside Ben team, love to have you aboard. You can head over to brightsideben.com and click on the Join the Team link, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. If you want to make some money selling Ingevity products, or if you want to be a business builder and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program and make it easy for folks to get on a good nutritional supplement program and make some money, make a lot of money if you like. At the same time, we can help you do that. Click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com or call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. want to welcome everybody to join in on our weekly phone calls. Myself and Dixie Sedgwick, we do a weekly phone call on various health subjects. Yesterday we covered a very interesting nutritional element, nutritional supplement, I guess you could say, which we'll be talking about here a little bit later today, something called beta-glucan. spent about 20 minutes talking about this stupendously powerful and non-toxic and gentle nutritional supplement type element. Ingevity now has a, Ingevity bought a company. Well, we'll talk, I'll tell you about that here in a couple minutes. Anyway, if you want to join our weekly phone calls, the dial-in number is 605-562-3140, 605-562-3140, participant access code 444-973-POUND. Okay, well, welcome to the Bright Side. Happy Monday. There's so much to talk about. Health has been in the news a lot, in the, uh, specifically in the frame of a virus called Ebola. It's all over the front pages, CNN.com, Fox.com, FoxNews.com. It's the lead story pretty much on any news, news source that you happen to like, MSNBC, whatever. You're going to see Ebola this and Ebola that. We've been talking about prostaglandins for a few weeks now. In our last program, we talked about zinc. And both zinc and prostaglandins have a link to how the body responds to immune system assaults, including viruses and including Ebola. Last week, we talked a little bit about Ebola. And as we predicted, we're starting to hear more and more silliness and more and more fear-mongering. And I sometimes wonder if... Uh, there's not going to be some drugs coming out, some antiviral drugs, thousand dollar a dose antiviral drugs. Have you seen how expensive these new antiviral drugs are? Thousand dollars a pill. I'm not kidding you. Uh, Sovaldi, thousand, eleven hundred dollars a pill. Now, you know, you guys have any idea how much drugs cost to manufacture and to make? 
not even pennies a dose, fractions of pennies a dose. Now, what is the profit margin from a fraction of a penny to $1,125? There is no consumer product on the planet that has that kind of profit, uh, uh, intense profit margin, fractions of a cent to $1,125. How do these pharmaceutical companies live with themselves? How do these CEOs and these uh, upper management people who are profiting on people's diseases and people's sicknesses to this unconscionable degree, how do they live with themselves? How do, they look, how do, you look at, how do these people look at themselves in the mirror? First case of an American co uh, contracting Ebola in the United States was confirmed uh, yesterday, I think, or maybe Saturday. A healthcare worker in Texas who had extensive contact with a guy named Eric Duncan, who was the Liberian man who died from the virus last Wednesday. This healthcare worker apparently contracted Ebola by uh, contacting this gentleman. Now you got uh, all these experimental drugs and experimental vaccines. Drug companies hoping to cash in. We don't need big government. We don't need big pharma. We don't need drug companies. We don't need intervention. We don't need Obamacare. We don't need any kind of medical intervention to protect us from viruses or Ebola. For the record, as dramatic as the symptoms of Ebola are, it is a very weak virus. And you have to have direct contact with bodily secretions. So no fear mongering, all right? Don't buy into that. It's a weak virus. It requires direct contact via bodily secretions, and its incidence, the incidence of Ebola, is not to, a cause to freak out. It is a cause, however, in my opinion, to understand how to boost our immune system, how to protect and strengthen and leverage this miraculous defense system we call the immune system, this defense department that we all have, that all human beings and all complex organisms have been bequeathed with from divinity from our divine maker, from a divine source. I'm talking about the immune system, which has been shaped over the course of millions and millions and millions of years to be antiviral and antibacterial and antipathogen. Viruses like Ebola or the flu virus or herpes or shingles or chicken pox or measles or hepatitis C are really no match for this amazing defense system, the immune system. But if our immunity is suppressed, if our immunity is compromised by lifestyle issues, nutritional deficiencies, psychological burdens, mental burdens, emotional burdens, these are all loads on the immune system. And by the way, sugar is one of the most powerful immune suppressant loads. How much sugar are we eating? There wasn't a lot of sugar when the immune system was being developed thousands of years ago. There was hardly any sugar. This uh, enormous intake of sugar represents one of the most major egregious, unnecessary burdens on the immune system, right up there with drugs and right up there with toxicity. And it just makes sense that our immune system isn't going to be able to do its work if it's being burdened and it's being loaded. The immune system simply needs nutrients. We don't need drugs. We need nutrition. We don't need drugs. We need lifestyle choices. Don't let anybody convince you that you need drugs, people. Aside from the antibiotic, occasional antibiotic and occasional pain pill, which I'm a big believer in. All medicine cabinets need to have some pain pills in them. And antibiotics certainly have saved many, many lives. But the idea that we need to be on prescription drugs or we need to interface with this pharmacomedical model that could, could care less about humanity is it's a lie and it's not fair. It's just not right. The immune system needs nutrition. It needs the mighty 90. It needs zinc. We've been talking a lot about zinc. We'll be talking about zinc here in a little bit. Selenium is important for the immune system. And nothing, 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 nothing in the world of nutrition is more important than vitamin C. And by the way, while we're on the subject of misinformation and bad information, for some reason, I don't know what's going on here the last couple of months, there seems to be a lot of craziness, nonsense being spewed out about vitamin C. I get probably one email a day or, or every couple of days from somebody who wants me to explain this idea. Is vitamin C really bad for me? Is, is ascorbic acid really vitamin C? Is there toxicity associated with vitamin C? For the record, vitamin C has zero toxicity. And also for the record, vitamin C is ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid is vitamin C. For some reason, there's folks who believe that because vitamin C like all vitamins and like all minerals and like all nutrients, because vitamin C doesn't exist in nature as an individual isolated component. Nothing in nature is isolated. Nothing in nature is individual. Everything in nature is connected to, to everything else in nature. All of nature is a, a unified whole. So yes, it's true. Ascorbic acid does not exist in nature by itself. But that doesn't mean that ascorbic acid and ascorbic acid supplementation is not somehow helpful. And it doesn't mean that ascorbic acid is not vitamin C. 
In nature, ascorbic acid does not exist by itself. This is true. But that doesn't mean that you're not going to get vitamins, vitamin benefits from using ascorbic acid. Hang tight. I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 855-660-4261 is our number on the bright side. We'll be back after this. On the bright side, I am Pharmacist Ben. For you guys in the Denver area, I'll be doing a talk at 7 p.m. for We Are Change Colorado. We Are Change, uh, it'll be at the We Are Change Colorado Community Center, 8646 West Colfax Avenue in Lakewood, Colorado. If you want to uh, map quest it or if you have GPS, the zip code is 80215. That's 8646 West Colfax Avenue in Lakewood. We Are Change Colorado. We'll be talking about, uh, we're talking about a lot of stuff, health, nutrition. We'll talk about how. Uh, talk about how the, the I hate the word conspiracy, but that's the only word I could think of. How we are, uh, how the, there's this conspiracy to to dumb us down, to make us unhealthy, to keep us interacting with the medical model through Obamacare and HMOs and diagnostics and medicalization and, and the pharmacomedical model. And we'll also be talking, of course, about alternatives to the pharmacomedical model. That's tonight, 7 p.m. at We Are Change, Colorado. Uh, 8646 West Colfax Avenue, Lakewood, 80215. If you're in the Denver area, love to see you. Okay, let's see. Uh, <laughs> if you want to join in on our uh, health calls, our weekly health calls, myself and Dixie Sedgwick, we do a dial. Uh, we do a phone call every Sunday, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. 6 p.m. every Sunday, Mountain Standard Time. Dial in number 605-562-3140. Participant access code 444-973-POUND. Also want to invite you to check out my videos, my skincare videos that I do with Amanda Rideout, health coach. We're covering acne, the seven different types of acne. And we did uh, type one, or we did the introduction on our last video. Uh, if you're interested in getting on the email list for skincare videos, send me an email, ben at ksco.com, K for King, S for Sam, C for Cat, O for Oscar. We'll get you on the list. You'll be notified when a new video comes out. Uh, if you want to check out some of the videos I'm posting, I'm posting them to my Facebook page, The Truth with Ben, The Truth with Ben. Some of you guys are, uh, a lot of you guys actually are sending me a face friend request to my personal Facebook page, which is fine, but uh, I don't post too much on that. I post on The Truth with Ben, uh, and if you want to uh, be advised of all of the all the various YouTubes that we do, head over to The Truth with Ben. That's my Facebook page, The Truth with Ben. And, uh, you'll, you can check out the videos that we've done so far, and then if you send me an email, ben at ksco.com will notify when, you, when we do uh, when we post new videos. All right, eight five five six six zero forty two sixty one is our number. If any bonehead tells you vitamin C is not ascorbic acid, here's what you need to tell them. First of all, just go to scholar.google.com, and you will find zillions. Okay, maybe not zillions, but you'll find hundreds, maybe thousands of different articles on the benefits of ascorbic acid. I'm talking articles and studies and experiments and research, not on lemons, not on oranges, not on whole foods, as important and as nutrient-packed as these whole foods are. And I'm not saying that vitamins and supplemental vitamins are the same as whole foods. They're not. Whole foods are always the way to go. But that's not to say that you can't get benefits from plain old ascorbic acid. Just go to scholar.google.com and you'll see tons of research on all the various benefits, all the various ways that plain old ascorbic acid can benefit your health. And secondly, one of the most important criteria, if not the most important criteria, for determining whether a particular substance is a vitamin is whether that substance cures a deficiency disease. The deficiency disease, for example, that's called pellagra, which is marked by the four Ds, diarrhea, dermatitis, dementia, and death. Pellagra causes mental problems, digestive problems, uh, skin problems. Ultimately, it'll kill you. Pellagra is cured by niacin, vitamin B3. The deficiency disease called rickets, which is a softening of the bone, is cured by vitamin D. The deficiency disease called beriberi, which means I can't, I can't. It's a neurological disease where you can't move, basically. It's cured by vitamin B1 or thiamine. And likewise, the deficiency disease that's linked to vitamin C is called scurvy, which is a hideous disease that's marked by an inability to manufacture the most abundant substance in the body next to water, the most abundant solid substance or dry substance in the body, and that's collagen. No vitamin C, no collagen. The body dissolves, and death ensues in the most terrible and hideous fashion. 
Well, guess what? If you put ascorbic acid into the body of somebody who has scurvy, not lemons, not oranges, not bell peppers, not food vitamin C, not kiwis, not cantaloupes, all which contain real uh, uh, natural vitamin C, food vitamin C, just plain old ascorbic acid. If you put ascorbic acid, plain old ascorbic acid, into the body of somebody who has scurvy, guess what? The scurvy goes away. That's why they call it ascorbic 